Hey everyone, we can do it now. A hundred websites in a day that are all totally cool. They're really powerful and cool to look at like these. And um, they just, they're, they have all this different unique information here. They write their own contents. Everything is lined up. All the buttons are actually clickable. I mean, they really do go to the inner pages the way they're supposed to. Everything is done correctly on the sites and then internal linking. Let me show you some other projects so you can see some variation. So here's some real estate uh, just to show you, you know, how this can be lined up. And it can be similar templates, different looks. Uh, it can be different templates. It's really just a question of what it is that you would want. So I'm showing you one example of that. Let me show you a different kind of example altogether. Uh, let me see. There's just a number to look at here. Um, let's see. There's this. So it's a custom product. The guy built his own. So it's the guy's own product. All right, and the idea of this is just curing dry eye, and, you know, getting from having bad, uh, uh, being able to create your own tears naturally by running this on the side of your nose, it'll buzz a little bit, your eyes water, and your red eyes disappear. No more scratchy, itchy eyes, and you didn't need to use tear drops, which is good because tear drops don't teach you to cry. They do your crying for you, so you become reliant on them. It's better if you just simply teach yourself to cry and open up your own tear ducts right? Loosen them up, open them up. And then that way you can start crying at will. Well, these are all different templates. Again, which one's going to work the best? Yours or mine? The one you like the most or the one I like the most? Who's, who's going to know, right? The answer isn't that you or I guess. It's that we put a lot of stuff out there and see what actually works the best. But we do get to watch how humans act through the websites. We'll see how they act through the websites. And because we see that, we're able to absolutely, gonna get that fixed. We're able to absolutely, um, oh, this website, I see, this one hasn't been, a bunch have not been done on that, and a bunch have, that's right. Um, yeah, because new websites are being added to this round, that's right. Uh, but we're seeing what's going on, we're seeing what people need, um, what they're looking for, what they're looking at, and we're gonna be able to make those adjustments real quick, make sure everyone's having a good experience. And then afterwards, we just turn that over to the websites, the web pages themselves, and tell them what they're supposed to do. And then that way, they can do it all on their own. Let me show you a different project. This guy created his very own solution to fogged goggles. So oh, that's so many situations. He did it because he plays airsoft. You know, those crazy airsoft games, everyone's shooting these airsoft pellets at each other in great big fields with uh, commando gear on. And they do this for like two, three days straight. They tag in and out. They eat boxed lunches and stuff sometimes. They go through old abandoned buildings. They go through fields. They go through old uh, prisons, things like that. So they have a blast doing this. It's a live video game sort of thing. Uh, sometimes there are trucks they can hop in and drive around in like Humvees. Uh, <laughs> so they have wild equipment. Anyway, the problem is when the people are trying to find each other, they're, they're tense, they're nervous, they're running, so they're hot, so they're sweaty, and their goggles fog up. So while they're trying to see where the other guy is, they get hit, and they have to tag out, and they have to leave, and they have to walk back in. Uh, and anyway, so it becomes a really big deal uh, to have clear goggles, and everyone hates it. They're having to pull them off, wipe them, put them back. They're trying to do a spray, but the spray breaks down. So he put them in. But what else besides airsoft and paintball? Because, there's, you know, paintball is another one. Uh, if you're a landscaper, you need to wear goggles when you're cutting the yard so you don't get anything in your eyes. They can fog up, especially in the summertime and especially if you sweat. What about cross-country skiing? You're wearing all the clothing to keep you nice and warm and your goggles fog up. Uh, SWAT team, army, police. Uh, there's just all these uses. Um, manufacturing workers, guys on shop floors, on hot shop floors, especially in the summer, sweating away. Sometimes they're hot anyway all year long, just depends on the floor. So take a look at this. We've got sub jobs, right? So this is all about using it for sports, the benefits for different kinds of sports, like if you're a jogger, right? And you're just gonna do long distance jogging. You won't trip and fall over the pothole or something on the ground because your, your goggles were kind of foggy and you didn't realize anything was there, who knows? Uh, what else have we got? 
Medical grade. This can be for doctors. We still got to get images in here. Doctors that do what? Um, they're out in the the they're out in third world countries. They're in jungles. They're in deserts. They're in abandoned buildings. They need to perform surgeries, and God forbid that their goggles are fogging up while they're doing this incredibly important work. Right. So it's what's neat is that. We learned how to make jobs for all these entirely different things at once, okay? So we can arrange these jobs. This is for hunters, okay? And it talks about everything, air filtration with MERV-13, that's more for the doctors and the um, production workers, but they have it, they have filters. So even when it's blowing air in, it's filtered air, so it doesn't put any impurities in your goggles, right? That's a big deal. What if you want to go snowboarding? You know, um, tactical goggles for whatever the thing was. <laughs> I forget what thing here. Um, but it's, it's useful for all these different purposes. So you get the idea? We're writing the projects to deal with each subgroup, each different demographic who's doing the searches for a solution for them. That way we match better to their searches and we can therefore come out with solutions for each of those guys. And in the meantime, he can walk around and hand out cards that point people like in the operations department to the operations website, uh, in the military to the military site, you know, uh, paintball to the paintball site, right? That way everyone gets the message that fits them best, okay? So all these websites are what we're generating on the fly uh, for you. Okay, we can do a stack of websites like these. We can do a hundred of these. Um, and I mean, really, if we sit down and figure out the strategy with you and you want to break it down like this into different subgroups, we could probably get a hundred websites done in like three or four days. So if you just said, take a week, right? Uh, yeah, we can get it done in a week anyway and do it really, really, really well, right? So from the time that you're paying for a big job, we can have it done in like a week, okay? And then um, we have remote control software for being able to handle anything that needs updating, changing, or whatever. What if one day you move from, let's say, the uh, MERV 13 to MERV 14, you know, and you want to say, hey, we're on MERV 14 now. Can we replace the 13 with the 14? It, it won't be hard to do that <clears throat> because we can do everything remote control with all the sites. What if you want to put different phone numbers into the websites for all the different useful uh, uses? then we can do that. We can go back through and fix them right away. Uh, we can do it in a day, right? Everything, not even, oh, we can do it in like 10 minutes, okay? That's what I mean to say is that we have that level of control. And in the meantime, nothing is spun. All this is written really, really well. More importantly, there's um, monitoring on all these sites, human monitoring so that we can go and watch how the humans react to the contents and see the experience they have so that we can make sure it's a good experience and that they're not hitting broken links or searching for something they can't find or whatever it is, right? Because we can easily invent those extra topics and get them up and then get them linked in the paragraphs where the wording fits and all that stuff. We can put up a sidebar and have the popular pages and stick new stuff in here, you know? Anything people are looking for. And then um, if they lose track of the phone number, right, we can have a little call to action here, like call us to order any time or uh, click here to get to the form, you know, something like that. Piece of cake. So, yeah, we've never been able to do this much work so fast and so efficiently. Um, I don't know. Something else you want to see? <laughs> um, yeah, I've been showing the other ones in the different recordings. Uh, like accident attorneys and drug and alcohol abuse rehab centers, you know, for selling leads that are worth high ticket money to those places because these guys get paid a lot for every person who comes in. Uh, you know, any, any lawyer gets a personal injury case, right? That can be amped up. It's not just physical damage. It's emotional trauma. It's missed days of work. Uh, so the lawyer can really rack up the earnings on the average client. Right. And so these clients become worth a lot uh, to lawyers and our ability to match people to lawyers in their area uh, is huge. We've got little welcome pop ups that can pop up so the website can load and the person could start to take it in 
and one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, pop-up reses in. It just fades in. And it says the most important stuff up there, and maybe it's even got some tabs for like two or three major things you would love for them to do. Fill out the form. Give us a call. Join our newsletter. Um, browse the selection. You know, S order now. Get a refill. You know, something like that. And that can all be there. And that can be a welcome pop-up that reses in three seconds after the web page loads, or say you don't want to do that. You want them to just go through the site. And then if they go to leave, oh, if they leave the active window, then the pop-up appears, okay? Giving them kind of the last chance of what you want them to do. So we've got both of those integrated. Another one's live chat, you can have that there, okay? And then the monitoring, you'll be able to see what the people do when they go through the pages. So if you see something and you're like, hey, Dave, I noticed what they're looking for. Can you create this? Then, yeah, that's something that we can add in, right? Really, really quick. So very powerful, very cool work. And we're doing it for just all these different industries at once. Um, I absolutely enjoy it. I enjoy the fact that we can create projects that beat the competition, since our competition does not know how to use these tools, doesn't know what to do, yeah, uh, to make these sites exist and, and make them easy to monitor, easy to use. And for anyone who's sending people to pages like this on P, uh, pay per click, what's great about that, of course, is that the web pages also monitor the people as well as us humanly. So we can watch for click fraud. We can watch how people act when they land on the pages uh, coming off the keywords in the PPC campaign. But not only that, but the web pages will watch their actions and rearrange the elements on the pages to get the goals met, to get more people to watch the video, to get more people to sign up or call or fill out the form or whatever it is we set is the standards for the web pages. Okay, so just letting you know how powerful it is that we can set all this stuff up and create all the pages and get this thing live in really no time at all. Days, literally days, not weeks. Used to be months uh, because we had to build all the tools, but the tools are built now. They're done. So we use those tools to get the projects done that we've been working on, but they're there. For every new group that wants to come through, anybody that wants to get a project for something and say, I literally want to start making money from it. And most things have tons and tons of hits across the nation. So if you're running a project out in a large metro area, and that metro area gets something like, across the combined keywords, I don't know, 12,000 visitors a month. Then what is that per day? It's like 1,200 divided by three is 400 visitors a day. And you're thinking, man, out of 400 visitors a day, if I got 1%, that'd be four visitors a day. If out of four visitors a day, one guy says yes and buys, I make, what is that? 200 bucks a day? 500 bucks a day? Somewhere in the middle? 200 to 500 bucks a day? <laughs> Could be 300 bucks a day, right? So if you're thinking, wow, 300 bucks a day, 30 days a month, you know, that's uh, 9,000 a month, okay? That's the point. So that's what makes these projects worth a great deal and we can have them done in a week. So it's, it, in the old days, it was, we created the contents. Now, creating the contents isn't hard. So what does a lot of the money get to be used for now? Monitoring. We get to, and even then, the monitoring is so easy, we can guarantee that. Because monitoring means we watch the first people's landing on the pages to see how their experiences go, make sure things are cool, make sure people are, in, are having a good experience. They, they, they may not buy, but they're going through the pages just fine. They're, they're clicking things and there's no broken links. They're not jerking around trying to find something they can't find. Uh, they're spending a good amount of time on the page, you know. And from there, we turn the page over to the websites to keep monitoring. That's the point. So 98% of the monitoring is really done by the websites themselves on a page by page basis. Something no one else's websites offer that I've ever heard of. I've never heard of anyone else offering a website that watches how people act on the site and then logically makes rearrangements by itself so that you don't have to split test. 
the web page knows what people like and don't. And the web page makes sure it, it takes the don't things and pushes them out of the way. And then if people come and they still leave because they don't like those things, then it turns them off. If people are scrolling down but not far enough to see the video, it moves the video up. If people start scrolling through the video without watching it, it swaps the video for the next one in your list of videos that are good alternatives to test out until it nails the expectations, the simple goals that are set for the page. Okay, and we can mass set goals for the pages. All right, so this is nuts. And we can also download the stats from the pages, figure out what's performing min max, and we can take the maxes, match them, and then run that back out through the website so everything rearranges itself to keep up with the best scores over here. So if you have 100 websites, and you happen to have one that's outdoing the other 99, and by a lot, say it's performing 50% better, uh, what happens is when we download the stats and everything figures everything out and puts it back up, all the sites are caught up with the new standards. So now they all have the same power, the same arrangement to be able to play in that ball game like that web page did over there.